What you're looking at today is an MSD crew installing a street closure at 27th and Northwestern Parkway. Street cl closure is part of a 29 mile flood protection system that includes concrete walls, earthen levee, 52 street closures, and 152 valves. Those closures have to go into place in sequence as the river comes up into flood stage. Today the river is projected to be at 25 feet on the upper gauge, about two feet above flood stage, so the first several closures go in today and tomorrow. How did we get here? Well, in 1937 we suffered the flood of record in the Ohio Valley. It's now called the Great Flood of 1937. In Louisville, over 170 square miles was covered with water from the Ohio River. Other communities like Cincinnati, Evansville, Owensboro, Wheeling, and Pittsburgh also suffered major losses of property and life. After the 1937 flood, Congress set aside funds to build flood protection works around all the major metropolitan areas in the Ohio Valley. Although Congress appropriated all the money necessary to start the design and property acquisition in 1938, war was breaking out in Europe, so it put an end to all public works projects in the United States. So the flood protection system you're looking at today, the levees, the concrete walls, the pumping stations, didn't really start under construction until about 1948, just after the end of World War II. It took about eight years to build the first 16 miles of that flood protection system and the first 12 pumping stations. We finished the entire 29 mile flood protection system around Louisville, Jefferson County in 1989. We do have two of the largest inland flood pumping stations in the world at Beargrass Creek and at Pond Creek. Now, there's another dilemma we face. The system is over 50 years old for the most part and none of us drive a 50-year-old automobile. We might drive an antique car, but it has a new engine and a new transmission. So what we really need to focus on in this community today is rehabilitating our aging flood protection system, especially in our flood pumping stations. If one of those flood pumping stations were to fail, it would be like plugging a bathtub and leaving the shower on we would flood the city from the inside and blocking the Ohio River would have no benefit whatsoever. We're doing something about it at MSD right now. We've replaced the oldest flood pumping station in our system in the Butchertown area. But we still have nine more stations that are over 50 years old and it will likely take another 70 to 80 million dollars to either rehabilitate or replace those pumping stations. So today, we're high and dry. We have to plan for the future and the future safety of, of the next generation in our community.